Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. <laughs> I just had to think then. Um, so I hope you are Gemini. I'm doing these readings a little bit early this week because uh, of Easter. So probably easier for you and for me as well. So <laughs> let's pull, um, let's pull your first angel card and see what we have. Message for Gemini message for Gemini oh nice I've got you ready if you're doubting it Gemini there's a message of you're ready this week this is a green light um very empowering energy love that card okay what do we have for Gemini oh thank you oh interesting I've got illusion again it's interesting because I did say if you think you're not ready for something there's definitely an energy of uh it feels there's some kind of deceptive energy here let's see what we get okay so i'm going to pull three cards so and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message as we always do you know by now and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you gemini okay i'm excited to find out what this is about okay what do we have for gemini please Thank you. The eight and Gemini energy, the eight of swords, Jupiter in Gemini, four of pentacles, the world. <laughs> Very nice. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message and take what resonates with you. Okay. Okay. That card fell out. We have the six of pentacles oh wow <laughs> the knight of pentacles very nice energy and we have justice wow card of libra bottom of the deck are oh, your ruler mercury the magician like to see your energies coming out in this reading very nice energy okay yeah it's never going to happen that's what the energies are i don't see it happening there's negative thinking i'm too much in my own head um i don't see this financial cha situation changing i don't think i'm going to sell my home um you know it can be this kind of energy where the situation feels futile now you know this this six of pentacles it can be linked with not having enough being challenged it can also be to do with debt in the challenge position so some of you it could be to do with challenges in terms of money career finances I mean you know some of these energies can also talk about property as well so it could well be linked with that too Gemini um, you just don't feel like you're going anywhere and again you're getting into that mindset that you don't think you ever will you're never gonna uh, it feels in this situation it feels like you're never going to get back on your feet money career finances you might also feel negative in terms of somebody reaching out off you offering you something oh i don't think i'm going to get the offer i don't think i'm going to get the opportunity yeah and yet there's expansion and good luck and good fortune all around you and you don't see it in this energy because the mind keeps you stuck the mind plays tricks and keeps you prisoner, hostage, limited beliefs, you know. Can be one with so much in our own head, we don't see the wood for the trees. And there's definitely an energy here, Gemini. I, I do feel for some of you, you have been um, being careful with money. I mean, this definitely is an energy of being conservative here. You have been cautious uh you have been using your practical resources carefully but there's an energy here of i don't think the offer the opportunity is going to come my way and yet the knight of pentacles is presenting itself here which is somebody making you an offer somebody bringing in some kind of opportunity and the message is that you need to put your energy in the right direction 
Um, and the pentacles energy is practical energy. It is focus. It is using your practical skills, resources, abilities to bring, you know, gain into your life, to bring growth into your life, to bring stability and security into your life. So again, it might well be for some of you, it feels in this situation, you've been careful and the spirit is saying, you know, you have all the resources that you need. This is a card of believing in yourself as well, in your own abilities, because this offer, this opportunity is something that you deserve. So it feels in this situation, it's a card of reap what you sow, justice. Reap what you sow. You have the opportunity to restore balance in your life as well. But I'm definitely getting this energy of reaping what you sow here. Now, there could be also some legal reward here. If you're waiting for some legal... I mean, you know, for example, and I'm not just saying this is the only thing. If you've been feeling lack on any situation... So that could be in terms of the breakup of a relationship. This could be in terms of... Um, waiting for a settlement from a company, you know, that you may have had a disagreement with, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be offered, you know, the money. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles can be a card of job offers, somebody making you an offer in terms of a contract, um, new business, but it can also be to do with, um, you know, incoming abundance that's bringing change. So for whatever reason, you've been careful with money because you've been feeling the lack and you were thinking, I'm never going to break out of this feeling of challenge. You could have even been experiencing some debts here. There's a message of, you know, certainly legally, uh, an opportunity to restore balance. So certainly justice is saying that. There's also an energy of reaping what you sow. What you put in your energy into now is going to restore the balance. So it's going to bring in the success, the victory. The world card is a card of winning. So definitely legally, there's an energy of winning. Um, this is a sense of accomplishment and success, celebration as well. So whatever level means to you, Gemini, there's an energy of, of winning, uh, goal achievement, and drawing to a close, a period of where you never think change was possible because the magician is an energy of manifestation. So being ready to manifest a new path, change something negative to positive, an idea to reality. And he is somebody who is all about focused intention. You have all the talent, experience, knowledge, ability that you need to manifest success. I mean, it feels in whatever level here, whether it's legally or restoring balance into your life or getting some kind of opportunity, there's definitely an energy of know your own ability, know your own talent. There is definitely an energy here of reaping what you sow, but he is all about focused intention. I'm going to stay focused. This is a card of lack of focus. So, you know, and it's when we're too busy focusing on everything else that's going on around us, we don't focus on the one thing that we need to. It's a distracted energy. So there's definitely an energy here, Gemini, of stay focused this week because Spirit is saying it is going to bring in some offer, opportunity, abundance your way. Put your energy in the right direction because there's definitely an energy of winning, definitely an energy of success coming your way. Um, lovely, lovely energies. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. This can also be communication as well for me as a reader. Mercurial, mercurial energy, uh, communication, conversations. Could be to do with what this justice is. Yeah, so just, yeah, again, see through the illusion. And it's the illusion that our mind creates, that we feel powerless, that we feel that... Um, we can't see the way forward through negative limiting beliefs, perceptions. Yeah, <laughs> we've got light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Isn't that nice with that card? Yeah, seeing the light. 
And I feel that some of you, you are going to see the light. And I feel it's whatever this Knight of Pentacles is representing to you. Um, and this, this justice of rebalancing um, something in your life feels very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.